So I am on my way to Pittsburgh to pick up Blake from college for the weekend. This is I-376, known as the Parkway, going into Pittsburgh. And I want you guys to see the beautiful transformation from when we leave from the country and come into the city. So this is just what they call coal country, the hills of Pennsylvania. Pretty soon we'll be heading through the Fort Pitt Tunnel, and we're going to come out to what I consider to be one of the most beautiful views in the world. All right, so we are at the bottom of Green Tree Hill getting ready to head into the Fort Pitt Tunnel if we can ever get there. This is a major snarl in Pittsburgh traffic. Here we go. When we come out this other side, it is going to be boom, Pittsburgh. Here we go. Get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world, welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, what's happening, guys? I hope you enjoyed the little drive to Pittsburgh with me to pick up Blake. So this is what we're going to look at today. This is from Secure. This is the MSS-12 Pro Soldering Station, and it comes with some tips, a B2, a K, an ILS, and a BC2. And what I think is really neat about this particular soldering station is that it is um, able to accept power from multiple sources, which could make it really useful as a portable unit. So here's the, the entire unit. Now, if you notice on the side here, we have a USB-C port, we have an XT60, and it has a built-in power supply for 100, 240 volts. Okay, also included in the package is a little soldering stand and sponge, an instruction manual, Good, <laughs> that's the English side. Bum, bum, bum. So a main interface, stop mode, work mode, sleep mode, blah, blah, blah. Menu operation guidelines. Short press the rotary switch between stop mode and work mode. Turn the rotary switch to adjust the working temperature. Long press the rotary switch to enter into the level one menu. Okay. So we'll read the instructions. Some decals. A US style plug. I wish they had used the standard IEC plug. But it is what it is. Here is our tool handle. And here are the three tips that were included in the package. And these labeled. They probably are, but I don't know what the labels are. So we have a very small conical tip, focus, we have a knife type tip, and a little bevel tip. Okay. Just trying to make sure that is fully seated in there. And 
And then this uh, soldering iron handle is keyed, which makes it nice, so you have to work extra hard to screw it up. And then we'll peel off the protective screen thing here on the OLED display. Apparently they had two layers. Definitely didn't want anything to happen there, right? We'll plug her in. And we'll turn her on. Check tip. So I'm thinking it's not making good contact. about as far down in there as I can get there we go now she's heating up so it is in stop mode now it's in work mode back to stop mode long press okay so this is our menu setting we have iron idle LCD volt calibration in about Iron, temperature, compensation, buzzer, temperature unit, Fahrenheit, the long press, yeah, long press to save it, then our working temp. We'll go back up here. Whoops. Put that back. There. And we'll set her for 350, which is where I like to be. Now it should go back. Good. Let's go over to idle. Sleep time, 180 seconds. Sleep temperature, 200. Idle time, sensitivity is 5. Good. LCD. Brightness, direction. Good. So you could turn this thing left or right. Color state, color set, color, <laughs> color volt. I'm not going to mess with any of that. But you can change all the colors that are available on there as well. Low voltage, if anything under 10 volts. Power volt. Okay, I'm not sure what power volt is. We can look that up. Calibration, I don't think we need to mess with it. It says it has auto calibration. Good. And about PD 3.0, QC 2.0, 12 volt, 25 volt, and 3 volt, 3 cell, 3 cell to 6 cell for lipos. So all in all, pretty cool. All right, let's see how long it takes to heat up. Ready and. Um, seven seconds. That's impressive. Wow. All right. Let's, uh, let's get this thing pinned. Let 
and then we'll give it a try and see how she works. So to tin a new iron, what I like to do is just kind of coat the whole thing and then clean it off. And I want to do that a few times. Piece of plastic stuck on there. And it's taken the solder very nicely, so no worries there. All right, let's get set up for a little soldering demonstration. So I got a couple eighth watt resistors here. Whoops, that's weird. Okay. All right, let's see how she does. Yeah, just fine. The handle is nice and cool. It's not too thick or too thin. It's quite comfortable. And it makes some nice solder joints. No problem at all. Here's a 2032 battery holder. Nope, probably like to see that, huh? I mean, that's the whole point of being here. No problem. Does really nice work. Then if you want to keep your tips nice and neat, when you're done, tin them once again. And what I like to do is just let them hang down so the solder kind of drips to a ball at the end and then switch off the soldering iron. And let that cool. Yeah, so it works great as you know I expected it would. Let's uh, go over to the computer, and I'll show you where you can get one if you're interested. So here's their site, s e q u r e mall dot com. I'll put a link to this down below. And what we have here is the MSS12 Pro that comes with the four different tips. And you can see that the price there is $69.99. So that tip I used is apparently the BC2. The real pointy one is the ILS. There's also a B2 and a K. So it's made of aluminum. It supports all these different ways to power it, which I think is the best feature of it has a 1.14 inch color LCD screen, uses T12 tips, has a built-in buzzer, automatic heat up when power on, intelligent temp control, sensitivity, blah, 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 uh, low pressure protection. Remember in Chinese, pressure equals voltage. So low voltage protection, high temp, high voltage alarm, safe and reliable can be used indoors and out. I won't read this whole thing to you. I just wanted to show it to you. And I'll put a link to it down below. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And big thanks to Secure for sending this out free of charge for our consideration. That's it. I'm out. Peace.